What's up everyone? Jeremy Gerard from Mythic Customs here with one of my short customizing tutorial videos. Today's video, I want to share something that I've been doing lately using grommets and Mythic Legions Customs. So specifically, I had a problem I was looking to solve. I was looking for a way to combine different parts together that don't inherently go together. Um, of course, I could use glue. That's an easy way to do it. If you just want to attach them together and lose all movement, glue's the way to go. But I wanted to see if I could figure something else out, some kind of an adapter to go together. So what I decided to try was grommets, these little rubber pieces. I've actually got this set of grommets that I got off uh, Amazon fairly cheaply. It's a large set. I wasn't sure what sizes I was going to need. Um, turns out all I needed was really the smallest size in this entire set. The rest is probably superfluous, but live and learn. I can tell you exactly the size that I'm using, so maybe that'll help you. But let me show you what I'm doing here. So the first thing that I wanted to do, the first figure I wanted to com combine parts with that didn't work, was I was creating one of my gnome figures, right? So if you know the, the kits that I've been working on lately, the mouse kits and the gnome kits, these are pieces that I worked on with Walter DeMarco of Mass Customs that were put out by Wolf King Customs. They allow you to take a goblin-sized figure and basically make a smaller type character by replacing lower uh, legs with just some feet and lower arms with just some hands. Well, it works great for a mouse because you got that nice slender build. But for a gnome, I wanted it to be a little bulkier. When I was thinking of doing a gnome figure, and I was specifically doing a garden gnome, I wanted a little more heft. So what I wanted to do was use a 1.0 torso, but with a 2.0 arm. Now, these are different sizes. They don't go in together. It looks okay. Like, this is exactly the look I was going for, kind of a bigger chest, smaller arms. Um, but it just didn't work. This doesn't fit. So that was my first test. And I can show you right here. This is the garden gnome I created. So you can see here that if I pop his head off, you'll see it even better. This uses one of those 1.0 torsos. It was actually from a brother mandibulus. So it uses that cloth type torso. But these are some arms from a 2.0 figure. Let me show you a, a better shot of it. I've got one right here. That's a little bit of a better shot. So there you go. You can see that is the garden gnome build. So it's got those pieces together and they are connected using grommets. So if I show you this figure again here, you can see these arms totally retain movement. I can pose the arms as much as I want, okay? Um, not as, you know, you got to be a little careful because they're not, you know, as tight as a normal figure. But how I did them was I got this set of grommets. Now, the size that I use here in this entire set is a one quarter inch grommet. So it's the smallest ones that come in the actual set. What I did was, unfortunately, the holes here are too small to put the grommet in. So what I ended up doing was I actually glued the grommet. I took some really strong super glue and I super glued that grommet in so it was right in that little hole there. Then what I did was I took a little X-Acto blade, taking that grommet that is now glued in place, I just put a little bit of slice in there, just a little slice. All you want is enough to be able to push the arm through. So when you push that arm through the grommet, there's such a small, and I'll actually do a little slice on this grommet here. So when I slice that grommet and I push this through, it's so incredibly tight that it holds it in place. So you can see that grommet is on the arm there. When that's glued in, it's nice and solid. It's nice and solid. Now, if I move too hard, it would the glue would probably separate. I just have to re-glue it. But it's a really easy way. Remember, these are custom figures. You're not trying to create things that you're going to hand to a kid to play with. They don't have to endure that kind of playability. You want something that looks cool in your display. So this is how I solved this problem to get those 2.0 arms 
onto that 1.0 torso. Now, I did it with something else as well. And I'm actually gonna do it right here and I'll show it to you. So this is the other one that I did. I also wanted to do this dwarf lumberjack. So this dwarf lumberjack uses all 1.0 figures. It actually uses, it's actually the same general head sculpture. When Walter did this one, this garden gnome, I said, you know what? It's got such a dwarf-like quality. I know all the dwarf fans are gonna be clamoring to use it as a dwarf. So let's do another version that doesn't have the very gnome-like hat on, um, works as a dwarf for me. So this is a normal 1.0 build, but because it's a lumberjack, I didn't want him to have the armored lower legs, the armored feet. I don't imagine that's what a lumberjack would be using. So if you look here, he actually has a pair of feet from a Masters of the Universe Classics figure, specifically the figure named Decker. It's something that I had in my fodder bin, and I said, how can I make these work? Let me show you a better picture of this custom right here. So here's the lumberjack. Here's a better photo of it. And you can see um, how those legs actually line up. Uh, the lower boots, they're actually about the same size as the lower legs on a dwarf. So what I'm gonna show you works great for dwarves, probably wouldn't work so well for normal sized human figures like the knights and so forth, because the lower, it would make their legs very, very short. It would make them look like dwarves. Um, for a dwarf custom, however, this I think works very, very well. So what I found, I have another set of Masters of the Universe feet here. These are from an Eldor figure, Masters of the Universe Classics Eldor. So I had these and I have a set of lower legs from a Bronze Dwarf Legion build. So similarly to what I was just saying with the arms, the 1.0 arms and 2.0 arms not working together, these have a hole, these have a peg, they don't actually fit. This hole is too big for this peg. That's what we're gonna solve with the grommet. So what I did here was I took the grommet and the grommet has two sides. One side is totally flat. The other side has kind of a little hole. So I put it the whole side down. And what I did was I worked it right in to the hole on this lower leg. And it's not gonna go in. You're, you're gonna have a hard time squeezing it in. So I squeeze in as much of it as I can. Squeeze as much of it as you can in. And then what I did was I actually used a tool like this. So this is my uh, one of my sculpting tools because you don't want to use an actual knife because it'll just tear through the actual grommet. But using something like this that's a little sharp, it's got a bit of a point on it, you can push in the edges of that grommet so it will sit nice and flush and flat in that hole. Just push it in one side at a time. So it's nice and flat. Here we go. Once it's in there nice and flat, you're gonna do the exact same principle that I just showed you. One piece at a time, one edge at a time. Then you'll take your exacto blade. And what I did for the feet was I did kind of a cross pattern, like, you know, an X basically. X marks the spot. So just pop it in, pop it in the other way. Because what you're doing is you just want to make enough room that you can plug this leg into. Just force it in. There we go. And then what you'll end up having is it fits right like that. Now it still retains movement. You can still move it. Like I said, if I tried to pull this too hard, it would separate. But as you can see here, normal, I mean, shaking it, moving it around, posing it, you know, doing a photo shoot with this, putting it on display, any of those type of things will hold it in absolutely no problem. So all I did was take that grommet, 
wedged it into the foot. Can't get it all with my hand, so I used a little tool, something not too, too sharp, but a little has a little bit of bluntness to it to push that in. Took the X-Acto blade, made kind of an X cut in top. If it's too, if you do too much, just pull the grommet out. So literally slap the grommet right out, start over. Um, but you just want that X in there that's just enough, tight enough, that you can plug that other, that, that leg peg in. And then what will happen, if I can finish this. I'm going to put this one in, do it again, so I can assemble the whole dwarf and you can see how he how he looks with his new kicks on. The toughest part is, without a doubt, getting the grommets in the actual hole. I mean, it's, by definition, it's fairly a tight fit, which is what you want. You know, you want it to be a tight fit, otherwise it's not going to fit. <laughs> so get that in there. Push it down, push it down, perfect. Take that X-Acto blade, make your little X cut, and push this in. So there you go, you've got your boots. Now I'm just gonna reassemble the rest of this dwarf, put that, that waist armor on, get the torso. And there we go, and I don't have a waist piece, so I'll borrow his waist piece for right now so we can see what it looks like all put together. Maybe I'll even borrow his head so we can see what a final figure looks like. And there you go. Simple as that. So if you've got these Masters of the Universe Classics lower boots, and again, not gonna work with every single one because different boots work differently. Um, but a lot of the Masters of the Universe Classics, they have the boot separation right at that same part where it's gonna make for a good sized a good sized lower leg from the knee down essentially for a dwarf this grommet trick i find it to be helpful it's the kind of outside of the box thinking that i love to bring to customizing hopefully you've enjoyed it as well hopefully this has got you thinking about other ways that you can use atypical pieces to connect parts together that aren't meant to go together. If you enjoyed this video and you like others like it, please let me know in the comments if you enjoy the channel and you want more like this and you want to be notified as soon as I go live with a video like this, please subscribe to the channel, tell others, and until next time, I cannot wait to see what you make. Thanks everyone for tuning in.